You've seen this swing before. It's Lee Como of Sea Motion. It's a swing I highly recommend. It's a method. This is probably one of the best videos I ever did. It shows exactly how he moves. He generates motion from the top down. See the dot on his head, how still his top of his head is. Look at the angles of his shaft. Look at the shaft lean. And he stands it up. Let's look at it another way. There's the straight line from the ball to the top of the head. Here's the forearm angles. His head doesn't move and he stands it up. You can even use these images to mimic what he's doing. The angles are wonderful. The head placement is wonderful. There's no bobbing, weaving. Because you're moving your top, your shoulder, collar, pole, and complex, the body moves just underneath it naturally. And because you're not bobbing, you're hitting the same low point every time. See him pointing the handle in front of the ball. So you have to ask yourself, why is Lee's motion just so good? Um, why am I implementing it into my teaching all the time? And why do people do so well with it? I do best with it using his method. And it's because the top of the head stays still. You're pivoting underneath this head. It's not bobbing up and down and it's not going side to side. There's no unusual movements, you know, with hips going out and all that nonsense. Your body is simply reacting to the top, which is here. So if I turn this this way and turn this this way, my body just moved underneath without me even thinking about it. So there's no thoughts, it's just doo, doo, reacting. And that's why I'm showing that line from the top down to the ball, looks like a straight line, you can even imagine that. Okay, so the only thing I do is, I kind of stand up straight and then I just sort of step forward. Right, that gives me a spine, a little bit of uh, side bend. You know, and I've got a spine angle that's this way now, just a little bit, hardly at all. So just go boom, you know, boom. So now all I have to do is fold my arm up. You know, I fold at the elbow. I can face the club at the ball. That's one way. Now that faces the air like Dustin Johnson. I can simply hold it a little weaker in my hand. And now it droops. Now I'm going to have a roll finish. But I'm still able to, no matter what I do, to pound the ball. I do best with a little bit of Dustin Johnson with this palm face in the sky. Okay. But here's the basic motion. So I set up. I simply fold up. I have this shaft behind my head. I can actually touch the back of my head if I wish. All right. And all I'm going to do is turn my top, the shoulder collarbone complex. It feels like it draws a circle, okay? So that's all I'm gonna do. So it's as simple as fold up, right? And then all I have to do is turn and my body does what it's gonna do. And I maintain the angles of the shaft to the forearms. And then it's simply a matter of extending my right hand to where it stands up, which is the straight part of the shaft, the way it would lay on the ground. That's all it is. So it's boom. So you'll notice I'm not moving the top of my head. I get tremendous shackling because my hands are up. I've not lost these angles. All right, so it's a very simple way of getting hands up and all the shackling's proper. And you'll pound a ball. 
An eight iron that he hit was 185, 190. And I can do stuff like that. It's not a problem. You just, boom. And away it goes. The ball just rockets. And because you're not moving your head around, you hit the middle of the club face every time. It's really easy. Simple. And your body just reacts and all thoughts go away. How much simpler could it be? But you have to be able to look at it kind of piece it together from the motion. You would throw the same way without thinking about it. You just roll your top. You maintain this little curl in the back of your wrist. Hardly anything. You don't go back real hard you can. Same way you throw a ball. You're loose. And it's a hinge. Get everything you want in one simple motion. It's the most efficient golf swing you can have. By far, it's just good. Try it. You'll be amazed at what you can do, but look at it a different way. It's as simple as what I showed you. End up straight, take a little, I take a little step. I get my head directly over the middle. I just step in a little. And then I can imagine a spot from the ball to the top of my head. Now all you have to do is Turn your shoulders to a circle. Don't pull down up here. Stop pulling down. You can see the tremendous angles we have here. Right there. It's like the butt end is pointing out to your front heel. Line. There, out in front of the ball, and wham! It just goes on its own. We're not forcing it. It's unbelievable the speed you can generate with no effort. Try it. Doesn't really matter um, how you hold it. You can have this club droop down like this, and then it'll give you a roll in release. And you cross over, but it's still straight here. You're not, you know, manipulating this in any way. It's just going to hit what it does. I do well facing the palm of this guy. Get it straight and high. Just roll the top and I'm perfectly straight. Do it at your level. Or I can have it droop. And my hands are more upright like this. Forearm facing out. That's how Lee does it. And same things, same motion, same everything. Your hand automatically squares. You're not rolling a shaft and doing all these crazy things. So try it. Give it a shot. It's winter. We can get better during the winter. Now is the time to try these things. Now is the time to change and prepare for spring.